Hey guys, this is Mohit. Welcome to this super awesome course on theory and technology of semiconductors. As we discussed in the last class, the different types of semiconductors. Today we are going to take first step to discuss about the psychology of semiconductors. So friends, let's begin with it. So guys, if you really want to understand what is happening inside those black boxes which we discussed in the last lecture, then we really should understand the crystal lattices of the semiconductors. So guys, first of all, we need to understand what is the meaning of lattice. So lattice is nothing but the symmetric array of points in space. So from this diagram, you can understand that yes, this is a lattice. Why this is a lattice? Because all the atoms, all the atoms are arranged in a systematical manner in a sort of array. So yes, this is a lattice. This is a cubic lattice and this blue shaded part shows a unit cell. Okay, so we can differentiate the crystal lattices among the four subtopics. First of all, we will study about the periodic structures. Then we will study about the cubic lattices. Then we will study about the planes and direction. And at the last, we will study the diamond lattice. So guys, in the previous lectures also, we differentiated the types of solids on different bases. Today we are going to differentiate types of solids on the basis of their periodic structures, that is on the basis of their lattice. So we can differentiate the types of solid on the basis of periodic structures as crystalline, amorphous and polycrystalline. So let's discuss one by one what is crystalline structure, what is amorphous structure and what is polycrystalline structure. So crystalline structure. Crystalline solids is distinguished by the fact that the atoms making up the crystal are arranged in periodic fashion. As here you can see in the figure also that all the atoms are arranged in a sophisticated and periodic fashion. So we can say that yes, it is a crystalline structure. An arrangement of atoms that is repeated throughout the entire solid. As you can see that we can see a pattern here. So all the, uh, the, the arrangement is repeated. With the help of this example, you can really understand the essence of this topic. For example, take rock salt. If you will see the lattice of a rock salt, then you will find that all the atoms, all the lattices, all the unit cells are arranged in a periodic fashion. Whereas if you will see amorphous solids, for example, a glass, you will see that they are not at all arranged in a sophisticated manner or a periodic fashion. So let's discuss about the amorphous solids. As I told you that there is no periodic structure at all. The atoms are arranged in a very hazy manner. Let's move on towards the third type of solid that is polycrystalline solid. It is composed of many small regions of single crystal material. So here we, uh, in, the, in the last slide, we saw what is amorphous solid and we also saw what is crystalline solid. Whereas now we are going to see what is polycrystalline solid. So here you can see that in this block, you can find that yes, this part is crystalline in nature. This part is also crystalline in nature. But if we saw these two parts in a combined way, then we can see that they are not crystalline in nature. So polycrystalline means the combination of different crystalline structures. So we have discussed what is periodic structures. Now let's move on towards the cubic lattices. Now we are going to study about that unit cell. The unit cell can be in the following way. It can be simple cubic, it can be FCC that is face centered cubic or it can be BCC that is body centered cubic. If you want to study all these things in detail, then you can refer to some courses on material sciences. We, we should just know the basics of these sort of lattices so that, uh, so that ahead when we will study about the doping and wafer formation, then we at least know that what is happening inside that structure. Then let's study about the planes and direction. Once in the next lecture, we, we get to know about how, how that wafer is formed, how the ingots are formed, then you will be able to more easily feel the essence of this topic. Once we get the ingots, then we have to cut these ingots. Then we have to cut these ingots, but we can't cut these ingots randomly. We have to follow certain basic rules so that the crystalline structure of that solid doesn't get disturbed. While following that rules, we have to follow that what sort of planes we need to form and the directions of those planes. So this topic becomes more important if you are going in that manufacturing science. 
At the last, we are going to study about the diamond lattice. It is one of the most typical structure and which is used in semiconductors. So here you can see the structure of diamond lattice. But as I told you, if you want to study more about lattices, you should refer to some material science courses. Whereas the knowledge we acquired from this video is enough to move ahead with our semiconductor course. So friends, if you are really liking my lectures, then please subscribe my channel. And if you really want me to make some more lectures on these engineering topics, especially on electronics and communication based topics, then please write all these things in comment section. I will be waiting for your comments. Thank you friends and have a nice day.